This news update is brought to you by... Say hello to Carol. Carol talks for a living from morning till night. So she relies on Flo's crystal clear home phone service brought to her through Flo's 100% fiber to the home network. It keeps her in the know. And because she bundles her mobile broadband and TV services, she enjoys huge savings. So she can enjoy much more for much less. So visit any Flo retail outlet, call 1-800-804-2994 or visit discoverflow.co to find out more. One of a kind connection. This is how we flow. It's Wednesday, March 16, and time for the Barbados Today afternoon update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. An exercise in arithmetic. That's how opposition MP for St. Joseph, Dale Marshall, describes the government's 2016 2017 estimates of revenue and expenditure. It's the third day of debates on the fiscal package, which Marshall also described as a bread and butter circus show, as it has nothing to offer the average Barbadian, who he says continue to suffer from water shortages and a host of other challenges. People can't save a penny. The government can't save a penny. And we know that without savings, there is no development. And the time is rapidly coming when the government will be able to borrow no more. If this administration wants the, the barbers, they'll probably present ideas. I have one idea, sir. They should call the election, place themselves and their fortunes before the people, and let the people decide. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this big, fat, yellow book is nothing more than an exercise in arithmetic. That's all it is. It is an exercise in arithmetic, and in my respectful view, Mr. Speaker, it is worth less, it is worth less than a housewife in Checker Hall preparing the budget for her household tomorrow or Friday on a piece of shop paper. Opposition MP for St. Thomas is calling for a designated facility for young drug offenders, but the Attorney General says the government simply cannot afford it at this time. Yesterday, Cynthia Ford made a case for the facility on the basis that the current systems were not working for that demographic. I want for the interest, um, the intro, intro ministry or um, committee as well to work towards a facility for the young drug offenders. The stigma at the psychiatric hospital is growing even bigger and a lot of young people don't want to go there. There has to be some separate and distinct facility for clinic where they can go and get their treatment and, and whatever, uh, treatment, whatever training and assistance they could get to be able to bring, to get the help that they need to bring them back into society. But in response this morning, the Attorney General, Adria Braffitt, says the opposition is sending mixed messages and it should stop with the political rhetoric. We should not utilize the facilities at the psychiatric hospital. We should create a new facility to deal with the young people who, who, who have psychiatric issues. And whereas I accept that, and whereas in an ideal situation, we would want to do that. But again, we cannot afford it. At this point in time, you, you, you hear... I'm, I'm around, you have five minutes in which to go close. Thank you. You, you. you hear that, in fact, that we should create a, a new facility um, to, to deal with, with our troubled young people. More money. You've got to build a facility, uh, uh, fit the facility. You have to hire the staff. But this is it. This is a contradiction. Spend more money, but yet we spend it too much. Every time you hear on, on the other side because it's all about politics. And it should not be about politics. It should be about what is best for this country. In other news, the Barbados Secondary Teachers Union says it will be requesting a meeting with the Ministry of Education to discuss the misconduct charge against Reverend Charles Morris. Morris, a senior teacher at the Combermay School, was slapped with the charge on the grounds that he breached the Code of Conduct and Ethics. Union President Mary Redmond tells Bobby this today while she had a copy of the letter sent to Morris, she will not be addressing it at this time until she has contacted the department on the issue. However, she pointed out that while the ministry had summoned Morris to an urgent meeting next Tuesday, it had yet to respond to a letter dated March 8th. 
from the union requesting an urgent meeting on issues affecting Combermay and Springer Memorial. The existence of good governance within state-run enterprises comes under scrutiny during a consultation of employers and stakeholders in the field of accounting. The event by the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants heard panelists and other stakeholders agreeing that state entities lack the knowledge of corporate government governance that is. Executive Director of ICAB, Original Farley, suggested that such a body should be legally mandated to follow set guidelines. I, I take the point that it says, get it to look at them, those that have chartered accountants, certain experienced business people, um, which happened to be the lot of the appointment draw, they run well. And interesting that we put on a seminar on internal controls and corporate governance and so on. And it was those Chairman and board members who were <coughs> not the ones who knew nothing about corporate governance. And, and those boards that are run badly have not reported those are not the ones who came. In sports, the West Indies today officially began its 2020 World Cup campaign in India. The regional team is currently facing off against England at the, the Wankidi Stadium in Mumbai. The Windies won the toss and elected to field. And at this moment, England is 182 for 6 and they're in the 20th over. There's regional and international news after this short break. Barbados Today, news you can trust. To news from the region, Trinidad police are investigating a gruesome find. They are trying to identify the headless body of a woman found stuffed in a blue barrel in the Mita River around 10 p.m. last night. According to reports out of Port of Spain, the body was severed at the waist and the limbs were also severed. The word Leo was also tattooed in the lower back. Up to this morning, the head had not yet been located. The body is that of a woman in her mid-30s, and the racial identity is not at this time certain. And on the international scene, reports say President Barack Obama has nominated veteran appeals court judge Merrick Gallon to be the next U.S. Supreme Court justice. The Supreme Court vacancy follows the death of Justice Antoine Scalia. The 63-year-old judge Gallon is the chief judge of the Washington Appeals Court and a former prosecutor. But the Republican majority leader says the Senate will block a vote on any Supreme Court nominee from President Obama. And finally, officials identify a terrorism suspect shot dead in a raid in Brussels as Algerian national Mohamed Balkid. He was killed by snipers while trying to fire at police from an apartment window in the suburb of Forest. More in this BBC report. We're outside the property where that raid took place yesterday uh, and you'll see the evidence from the windows up above us just how intense that firefight was. So the front windows of this three-storey property have been blown out and it seems the focus was on the middle apartment. Down here on the floor you can see all the evidence of the forensic work that went on overnight, plenty of plastic gloves around and it was an operation in fact that started at three in the afternoon. It went on for ten hours uh, as they tried to work out just who was in the apartment and whether any gunman had managed to escape. Look how close we are, incidentally, to the primary school. That long red building there, just 200 metres away, that's the primary school. So at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the teachers, the parents, the children, they'd be milling around here as the police arrived at 
the apartment. And what I want to show you as we go through to the back here is just how difficult it is uh, to police this area because it gives out onto a huge quadrant and there are lots of little gardens and deserted land at the back. And you'll see from the back windows of the property up here that the glass has been broken again. So that is the kitchen, I think. And just look, just below it there, there's a low slung roof, so easy to jump down onto the roof. And that's news and sports. But for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbidistoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on ISOB Media, bus terminals, or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Good afternoon. Thank you.